world's best in the country's capital city of Nairobi. But you'd think the setting is that of rural Kenya. Here, you'll find no piped water, no proper roads, nor any installed sewerage system. Maji kama haya ni kikwekea kiti mali kama hapa uneza kula, hawezi kubali, hii ni uchafu tupo, hii ni kipindupindu, hii ni ugonjwa. But despite its troubling status, the area has a few stories of hope filled with tremendous legacy left by its prominent residents. Tuna wachezaji kama Dennis Oliech, tunaza sema hui ndiyo huzo kwa upande wa football, na bada ya Oliech tukakuja tukakua na wachezaji wengine kama Dennis Okoth Weiss, ambaya liwai kuchezia Goruma here, ambaya saizi ni coach wa City Stars, tuku pia na Elvis Ayani ambaye alikuwa mchezaji wa KCB kwa, kwa hivi sasa Elvis Ayani ni coach wa KCB mm. you have told us she was a devoted catholic mm. you people as the people who lived with her mm. what do you remember her most for oh my god <laughs> generosity is not a word for her battle up it's about to be a bumpy ride as i take you inside ngando estate this week's episode of Area Code. Ngando is one of those places which reminds you of how many estates looked like in the 19th century. It's a place where human settlement was scarce and wildlife was predominant. Hapa ilikuwa tu mabushe, sata hizi manyumba hiku kuwa. Tulikuwa na nyumba chache sana. Hapa ilikuwa tu bushes. Hizi manyumba imejengiwa tu kama mini kwa hapa. Kwa hii area. Sasa, saa hii ni kama ni town sasa. Lakini samani, ilikuwa nyumba chache kabisa. Hizi nyumba za city council ndia ilikuwa. 65-year-old Samuel Ndolo remembers too well moving to this place more than 25 years ago back when majority of the land acreage belonged to the government after colonial masters had left the country hapa kuko na wingi ya watu kama vile kuko na wingi wa watu wakati huu na hukuwa na hii mambo ya ukora ukora hauku wako wakati huo mtu alikuwa atembea tu hata usiku mzima hakuna mtu hata angelikuuza swali ngando had been shunned by many for being seriously underdeveloped and too far away from the nairobi city center it was thus no surprise that when government decided to sell portions of the land, not many city residents came running. Hii mashamba nilipofuatilia historia, hii mashamba ilikuwa ni mashamba ya serikali miaka ya awali. Kisha baadaye hiyo miaka ya awali kabla tujapata uhuru, watu walikuja wakagawa hiyo haya mashamba. Wakapewa haya mashamba na hata watu wamegawa hiyo mashamba walikuwa wametoka Kawangware na Waidhaka na Odhiru na ni watu wanajuana wote. Hawa watu unaona hapa ngado wenye hii mashamba na wale wa Kawangware na Waudhero na pale tuseme pale Kabete Kangemi. Hii watu ni watu wanajuana kabisa. Na wakati hiyo hata wale walikuwa kwa hiyo mashamba ya huko wakija hapa walikuwa wanapinga wale wengine wasikuje hapa ati hapa kuna fisi na ni mstuni. The estate is located along Ngong Road just opposite the Ngong Race Course. A rather quiet and assuming area that is loaded with rich history, for it is from here where the country's founding president married his first wife. Grace Wahu, who later became known as Grace Wahu Kenyatta, resided in the area with her family after they relocated to Nairobi from Kiambu. Wahu Kenyatta would marry Mze Jomo Kenyatta, who himself was then known only as Johnston Kamau, in a traditional Kikuyu wedding ceremony in the year 1919. Together, the two would bear two children, 
Peter Muigai Kenyatta and Margaret Kenyatta. Little became known of Jomo Kenyatta's first wife after he married three other women and Wahu decided to live her life away from the public glare. When you ask somebody, do you know the, the Kenyatta's mom where she used to live? Automatically they show you. Most of them know that. It is from this house, located in Ngando Estate, sitting on a 5.5 acre piece of land valued at over 10 million Kenya shillings, where Wahu Kenyatta decided to spend the rest of her days. It's a residence that she shared with seven other sisters from the St. Joseph of Tubbs from 1992 when she discovered they had no meaningful accommodation. She called and she said no sisters cannot stay in a lengthened house. She can give a, she can give a place for them. And so that's why how we came from that place and we stayed in a house. And for nearly a decade, the sisters would reside with the country's first first lady in this palatial house that boasts of nine bedrooms. So this is the house? Yeah, this is the house. Okay. How many rooms was this? Uh, now, from here, uh -huh. this is the down, this is down floor, down, I mean ground floor, mm -hmm. and this is the first floor. Mm -hmm. So, sisters used to stay here up, okay? Mm -hmm. And for, La, for Susho, mm -hmm. used to live here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, is, wow. this was a sitting room. These chairs are are as old as the house, I think so. <laughs> yes, we did not change anything. anything. The way it was, was is what we left it. And this is the room for Susho. This was her bedroom. This was her bedroom, and this is where she passed on. Mm. Yes. So this is where you said you came, prayed for her? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Grace Wahoo Kenyatta died on April the 4th, 2007, and was praised for her devotion to the Catholic Church that saw her donate a huge portion of her land for the construction of this church and the building of a health facility in Ngando. This is now the Soso's kitchen. She used to use Jiko here, just the way you see us using the Jiko. That is where she was using the Jiko. Yes. And the different stores. She also left her house for the sisters who took care of her during her latter years. They could live even five or six sometimes, yeah, because sisters share. Yeah, yeah, they share. Yeah. They share. Now this is another sitting room. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> exactly like, like that one. Been, yes. yes. So this is where now the sisters were staying. This was their sitting room. This was their chapel. Wahoo's house was adjacent to her daughters, Margaret Wamboy Kenyatta, who also briefly lived in Ngando before moving to Lavington. Both Wahu and her two children, including former Nairobi Mayor Margaret Kenyatta, who passed away in April last year, were buried on an eighth of the property in Ngando, where to this day their grave sites remain. This is Mama Grace Wahu, Kenyatta's grave. Uh, you can see when her picture is there. Oh, even her yes. Yeah. Hmm. She died on 4th eh? of April, April 207. Do you remember that day? Very well, because I remember we surrounded her on her bed, dead bed, where she died, and we prayed. We prayed, we recited the rosary, because she was a Catholic, South Catholic. Hmm. Now look, Susho died on 4th April, and Margaret died on 5th April. See? Ten years apart. Yeah, yeah. Wahoo Kenyatta died in 2007. Uh, and this one, to 2017. Exactly. Mm. A decade. Wahoo Kenyatta's name may not be as prominent to the country as it is for the residents of Ngando who decided to christen this road the Mama Grace Wahoo Road. Never mind the fact that it has yet to be tarmacked following several failed promises from area leadership. The sisters who lived with and took care of Wahu Kenyatta decided to honor her by starting this school in her memory. Susu loved 
little children so much, and she felt that we should have a place also for the children, especially for the poor in the village also. So that is how we came up with the school, and uh, now we are in the process of developing the school. And uh, in fact, we are just going to get the people who can donate for us so that we can bring the school up. Uh, at the yeah. moment, what's the capacity of the school? How many children does it serve? It serves 351 children. Yeah, from just the village. Mostly are poor children and even those who are um, uh, what, OVZ, that is orphan and vulnerable children, they are those who are infected by HIV. After the break, when I come to, to the office, I, I, I believe me and my assistant chiefs, we must talk about for domestic issues. That is a, the, each and every day. Gando Atuna Hospital ya Public. Gando Atuna Selekashi Nini. Shure Ote ya Public. Shure Sire Shure Sire Sire Hapa. Nizire Siko Kama Ida Muleta Jamuhuri. So to hapa tunapika vyakula aina tafauti, tunategemea kutoka mahali pale, haya ni maji machafu. Wakati mvoi naponyesha hapo mahali kuote, unakuta hii barabara yote imefurika, unakosa mahali pa kupita. Sasa wa MB wetu hapa na MCA, saa hii ukipiga simu yake haingi most of the time. Na wakati wagura huwa wanapatikana kari, kari punaona kama saa hii nanyesha. Saa hii hapa wanatafuta shetani wachukwe, wengine wote wanaogopa. Wanatafuta shetani watoe wapi, watoe chini wakipana, wakipana.